Ashley from Built Upon a Rock Farm and I just turned 25. 25 years old this year, 2023. And I have my little buddy here, Charlie girl. And you'll see Gimli running around as we're hanging out outside. And I wanted to share with y'all 25 things I've learned in 25 years. And uh, some of them are pretty good. Yeah, don't you think? You gonna learn some of the things Mama learned? No? Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Number one on my phone y'all all right drink water pretty standard but water is essential and for all my folks who are living on caffeine y'all know how important water can be and let me tell you okay. the stanley cup yep. lives up to the hype for mm. sure i got I mine for my birthday you. I know. Yeah. And for sure, it lives up to the hype. I already got two. I drink more water. It stays cold. It stays warm. I have one for coffee and I have one for water. Yeah. Delicious. Drink water. It's good for you. Two. Stretch. Stretch with intention. Stretch your body. Stretch your muscles. Keep the mobility of your life. You can't have it, buddy. I'm sorry. Oh, there you go. Stretch. This is one I'm still learning to do. I want to stretch almost daily. Like maybe when I wake up for bed, out of bed, do a few stretches. It'll help with inflammation and the daily soreness and tightness. You going to go play? Hey, hey. What are you doing? You go play? Mm. Stretch. How many times I've said stretch by now? Three. Move your body. So all these things kind of go along with each other for the first few. But move your body is huge because you don't want to get to like 30 years old and feel like you're 50. Can you show me? Yeah. Thank you. Oh, thanks. You giving me some dollar bills. Can you sit down with mommy? Yeah. Thanks. So move your body. It's important. Move it with intention every day. Stretch it. Get your exercise in. Something out of your daily routine of just moving your body. Break a sweat. It's good for you. Uh-oh. Where did it go? Help me. Okay, there it is. Number four. Grow a garden. Growing a garden, y'all, is something so delightful. It'll teach you all the failures and successes and 
there's something about growing something that's living and seeing it from going from like a little seed to like something you can eat or just something really pretty. Grow a garden. Do it for you. And you're great. Grandpa used to say, grow a garden keeps you living longer. And I can see it. Gets you something to look forward to in the mornings to go out and take care of. Something to yearn for during the winters when you can't really grow too much. Five. Get outside. Enjoy the sunlight or the clouds or the wind. Hear the birds and my dog Gimli run. Yeah, get outside. Mm -hmm. Enjoy the cold air in the winters and the hot air in the summers. The warmth on your skin, the sun beaming down, vitamin D is always good for you. Six. Wash your face. Keep it clean. Keep it looking good, healthy. Okay. Wash your face. It feels good. Okay. Yeah, it feels good to wash your face. You don't like mama washing your face, but you like washing your face, don't you? Yeah. Okay. Mm. Yeah, she agrees. Wash your face. Okay. Seven. Do things with intention. Come here. Do things with intention. Like sending your friend a little quick text saying you're thinking of them. Or doing something for your husband or your spouse, your significant other. Doing something for your loved ones that are around you or somebody at work or even a stranger at the store. Do things with intention. Eight, it's quick to burn the bridges, but hard to rebuild them. So take that with what you will, something that I've learned. It's very quick to burn them, but it takes hard work and effort to rebuild them. Nine, affirmations. What you doing, baby girl? Yeah? Come here, you wanna do affirmations? Come here. Come here. Charlie girl. Come here. You want to do something? Come here. Baby girl. What you doing? Alright, go play. Go play. Don't touch. Shh. Don't touch. No, no, no. Let's go play. Find me a stick. Or bring me Gimli's antler. Hey, bring me Gimli's antler. Bring me Gimli's antler. Hey, Charlie girl, don't touch. Come here. Come here. Yeah, yeah I see you. Charlotte. Nine. Affirmations. Do affirmations for yourself. Saying you believe in yourself. Brighten up that positive outlook in life and believe in, in yourself with positive affirmations. And then do it to fill other people cup, people's cups up as well. Send out affirmations and compliments to those who are around you. It goes a long way, and it's so meaningful, and it goes along with doing things with intention. And I love doing them with my baby girl, too. Help fills up her love cup. Ten. It's not about retirement. Do what you love. Life is too short. This experience of life, don't do it suffering if you don't have to. And don't do something just for the retirement. It's something I've learned. Do what you love. Retirement's a bonus, but 
do what you love. And don't wait to do what you love. Do it now. If there's something that you love that ignites the passion in you, do it now. You know, don't wait. Don't say after retirement. Go ahead. This is your permission. Do it now. That's right, baby. Okay. Come here. Come sit on Mama's lap. Come here. Yeah, doggy. Gimli. Come here. Come sit on Mama's lap. Charlotte. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I see Mama's earrings. See Mama's earrings? Yeah. Bonus. Have patience. Enjoy your kids. Yeah. Really? You see Mama's earrings? Your cars? Don't pull. That hurts. Yeah, you see the cars? Don't pull. No. Are your hands cold? Hmm. All right. You ready? Let's start again. Ready? Here. Stay here. Hello. Yeah, he tries to. Mm hmm. Ah, ah. Here. Here. Mm -hmm. See the doggies? Yeah. Eleven. There's too many coincidences that happen every day of every hour of every minute for not to be a creator of this world. There is a living God. There is a loving God. I call him Jesus Christ. We'll leave it there. I eat. Twelve. There's a war between light and dark. Choose to shine your light. Yeah. Shine your light. Let your light shine, huh? Let your light shine. Choose to shine your light. Gimli! Thirteen. The pullings, thirteen. Sorry, there's a little commotion down the street here. Huh. The doggies barking. Yeah, doggies. Yeah. You see the doggies barking. Yeah. Hold on. You want to go get Gimli? Oh, Gimli. Yeah, doggies. Mm -hmm.
You ready? Things are okay now. So 13 for the third time. Follow the pullings on your heart. Don't hesitate to follow. I should help this person. I don't hesitate on the dreams you have. Don't hesitate on the I shoulds you think of. Do them, if, especially if they're good and they're going to contribute good to the world. Yeah? You want to talk to? Hmm? Yeah, you want to talk to? You want to say 14? Can you say 14? 14? So we said 13, which is follow the pullings of your heart. All of those things that you want to do, wish you did, shoulda, coulda, woulda, follow them, do them. You never know if somebody needed that in that moment that you thought that you should, oh man, I should help this person across the street. Or I should send my friend a text today. I'm thinking of them. Follow those moments that you have in your heart. Don't hesitate because you never know in that moment. It's something that somebody needed. Huh? You can't, you want to throw that to Gimli? Ready? Huh. Let me see. All right, he's going to play with it. Okay. Fourteen. Ready? Dream, 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 dream. Let your mind go crazy and dream don't think that you can't or you're not worthy because baby you know you are like dream you are worthy you can do it you are what you think you are so dream don't get stuck in a thought of i can't or that's not for me because it can be for you <laughs> yes And observe what gives you energy. Yeah. What do you see? What brings you energy? What brings you peace? What brings you brightness? And do that. You know, what rejuvenates your soul? What fills your cup up? Observe what those things are in your life. And do that more often. Do what ignites your soul. Yeah. Is this not... Your cup of tea. Do you need to go watch Tangled? Hmm? Uh, yeah. You want the balloon? Ah. Alright. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Is Gimli going crazy? Crazy. Oh my goodness. Boom. Be crazy, huh? Crazy, huh? Careful. Yeah, I try to get it. Let me see. Let me see. Drop it. Drop it. Drop it. Drop it. Gimli, drop it. Drop it. Okay, go play. Yeah, here. Confetti. Uh, wow. <gasps> yeah. All right, we're halfway there. You ready? Fifteen. Food matters. What you put in your body matters. Food should be fuel for your body, but, but I'm a foodie. <gasps> Ready? Throw it. I love my cakes and butter pastries and candy just as much. But what I'm trying to say is organic food those foods 
that are less cancer giving, that aren't fertilized and pesticide and food matters. And food can be very, yeah, you want it, you want to throw it, Gimli, drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it, all right, throw it, throw it, throw it, can you throw it, is that a little heavy, Gimli, hey, Gimli's a little crazy right now, okay? He's a little crazy right now. Here, you want to play with a, a leaf? Is that a leaf? Is the leaf crunchy? So again, food can really heal your body. The right kinds of foods. Educate yourselves on. I'm still educating myself on good food, healthy food, food that heals your body. It's a journey. It's never going to be a destination, but it's a movement that everyone should hop on. Sixteen. Your parents truly did their best with what they knew how. Parents truly try to do the best for their kids. So if you become a parent, it definitely becomes prevalent with that realization that your parents truly did their best with what they knew how. Yeah. I'm trying. <laughs> trying over here. Something I've learned when I became a parent. Seventeen. Say seventeen. 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 Have grace with every moment you don't know when someone is going through something. So have grace when you're at a restaurant being waited on and it's going awful have grace have grace now because i don't know what baby girl's feeling but she's feeling all kinds of things right now probably because this is different i never talk to a camera trying it out whoop, whoop. so have grace with those around you have grace in all the moments have grace with yourself enjoy life again life is short Enjoy it. Yeah, you want to sing the itsy bitsy spider? Where's your itsy bitsy spider? Climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain. Wash the spider out. Where's your son? Out came the sun. Dried up all the rain, and the itsy bitsy spider climbed up the spout again. Hmm? Huh? You itsy bitsy spider, it's coming to get you. Shake it, shake it, shake it out. Shake it, shake it, shake it out. Where's your shakes? Shake it, shake it, shake it out. All right, where are we at now? Hmm? Where are we at? 18. Prayer, pray often in all things, even if they're big and small, go to prayer. Prayer first in all things. Pray often. See without any hesitation. Just pray. Nineteen. Communication is a practice. Constantly learn how to communicate. 
communicate often with your spouse, with your relatives, with your children. Just those who you regularly communicate with. Communication is a practice. And we all can do better at it. 20. Prioritize relationships. Like, prioritize keeping up with relationships. Keeping in contact with long distance friends or family. Prioritize those relationships that are near and dear to you and keep them up. And do those things of like letting those people in your life know that you love them. It could be a simple text or a gift or just uh, checking in with them, hanging out with them maybe. And most importantly, prioritize the relationship with yourself. Do that. Fill up your cups. So overflowing so you can fill other cups. Anyone enjoy the season you're in or find the joy with the season that you're going through. Not all seasons are going to be bright and warm and shining. They're not always going to be beautiful. You're going to go through storms. Find the joy within the storm or know that the storm will come to an end. You'll pull through it and it will be a beautiful day again. Twenty one. Twenty two. Reflect. Reflect and meditate and just check in with yourself. Check in with your thoughts, dreams. Reflect on your past. Learn from your past if you need to. Reflect and go from there. Like where you want to go. Make the changes that you need to make in life. But you gotta reflect to acknowledge those changes that need to happen. Yeah. Yeah, you hungry? Do we need a snack break? Yeah? Alright, let's go get a snack. You ready? Mama only has like four more. Can we do the four and then get a snack after? Or do you need a snack now? Okay. You ready? Mama did 22. Now 23. Let's see. Enjoy your partner. Enjoy your kids. Don't just love them. Don't just love them. Enjoy them. Make memories. Nothing ever has to be so stressful. Or gotta get this done. Or I must bathe them. I do. Enjoy your kids. Make the memories. Make it more fun. Huh. Yes. Like Melania Ciciotti, somebody I follow also. <laughs> On YouTube, she, it's a lesson I learned from her, and she said, it doesn't have to be so hard. Enjoy your kids. Sometimes it's like making something like getting a bath and just bringing ice cream into the bath and having fun with it. And that way they're having fun. And it's a memory of ice cream in the bath. And they're going to get clean anyway. So enjoy your kids. Because the time goes by too fast. Yeah. The time goes by too fast. Woo! Enjoy them. Yes. All right. What's next? And enjoy your partner or your friends or your family, whoever you're going through in life with.
don't just love them, enjoy them too. 24, be vulnerable. This one is hard, but it's something so worth it because that's what deepens life and relationships. Be vulnerable. And lastly, you ready, Charlie? Woo! 25, take the risk. Do what your heart wants to jump into. Even if you're scared, do it scared. Hashtag just sours. She said that recently. Take the risk in life. Even if it don't make sense at all, sometimes being crazy in the moment leads to the biggest rewards in the end. Take the risk. Follow your intuition. Follow your heart. Follow your conscious. Take the risk in life. It doesn't have to always make sense. But if you feel that it's right in your heart, but it seems crazy, do it. Do it scared. Do it anyway. Because truly, so many testimonies say the war, the reward is bigger than the risk. Ha. Hi. In the end. Hi. Sometimes it takes many Hi. failures and many trials along the way. Woo! Ha 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 ha. But take the risk. Now, 25 things I learned in 25 years. Thank you all for spending time with me. We're a family building a fa a farm, a house. Building a family too. Raising this little one. Mm -hmm. And living, learning to live a life with God. So follow along at our journey at Build Upon a Rock Farm. See you then. Enjoy. Bye. God bless. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Ready?